Hello, welcome to the Sports on Pauls. Hi, I'm Gary Al Smith, and this weekend there's no Ghana Premier League fair. Instead, it's FA Cup weekend. Elsewhere around the world, we'll be having the same thing, but here's the round of 16, and Okwau United are in the news. They are headlining the fact that we understand from this story that you will see on myjournalline.com that they have been ordered to withdraw from the MTN FA Cup. It's not an official decision from the organizers. Actually, it's the president of the club who has said so. If we can read the story now. Um, the president of the club, Brian Achampon, says he wants the team to get out of the competition. This order comes on the back of violent attacks by Okwau fans in their Division, division 1 league tie against King Solomon at the Ku Prasso. Uh, where Okwau lost by a goal to nil. Now you can see in the picture there that one of the players got seriously injured. And so the two questions to ask were that one, would Okwau United be punished if this happened, if they went further with it? And you can see some of the injuries. They're very, very um, unsightly injuries there we are seeing. In studio with me is the vice chairman of the MTN FA Cup committee, Kofi Poku, to go through the issues. And we understand that he has an update thanks for joining us kofi um when did you hear about this issue um like about um, 30 45 minutes ago oh wow that's yeah. quick we heard it yeah. about two hours ago okay <laughs> so what have, what have you what did you do quickly to try and resolve um it? we i called um the president of the the club and um you know i explained the circumstances i mean that would affect the team if they should withdraw, you know, withdraw. and um, uh, so what are the I'm happy no you know um you know he gave his reasons which i think that you know this is the first time i've seen you know a club president you know, take that position he wasn't happy at all with what went on and then he thinks that um psychologically the team was not prepared to play because of these things and um, he raised other issues which i think that is not for uh, public consumption which sure. i think that you know um, it's a good step to take, but then for you know for a sponsored program like MTN, we think that it wouldn't only affect Okwau United, but it's going to affect the pro uh, the whole program. So um, he called you know management and asked them to prepare for the game, which I think we are happy with. Okay, so what would have been the consequences? So um, first of all, that means they will play. They've agreed to yeah, play. Yeah, they've agreed to play. Okay. Who will they be playing against, just to be sure? They are sure? playing Hazakis, secondary Hazakis. Okay, that will be this weekend. This weekend, on All right, Sunday. so they'll make the trip. Definitely. Yep. So that means the MTN FA Cup committee has given them their money for transport yes, and everything. Yes, yes, yep. yes. Now, let's go back to it. What would have been the consequence if they withdrew? Well, that were regulations. Yeah, yeah, per the regulations, you know, um, they will just have to suffer the punishment. Once you withdraw, then it means that you'll be banned from playing subsequent, you know, FA Cup matches which I think won't augur well for, 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 for the them. team and the yeah. people of uh, Nkoko and the environs. So, um, actually, he, he made a decision. I'm sure people have contacted him, but he stood his grounds. But I spoke to him, and I'm, I'm happy he, he has rescinded the deci decision to let them play. All right, speaking of Nkoko, this is where the game will be in Nkoko. Yeah. In Nkoko, there will be another big game, this one involving Asante Kotoko traveling to that side. Yeah. However... In Koko was not the original venue of that game. Kotoko were supposed to be playing in in prior so. Yeah. Yes. Tell us about the whole circumstances involving the team involved. Uh, in um, um, thank you. Um, they were supposed to have played the match at in so like you rightly said. That is Storm FC. Yeah. No, Storm FC. Storm, FC. Storm Academy. Yeah. Now, um, it's not an approved venue for the Premiership and then the Division 1 League. And what we do is that anytime there's a draw, one, we take the venue into consideration. If mm. it is not an approved venue, if it doesn't have an inner perimeter and all those things, we look at the closest venue, which, you know, is in Coco. That is why we decided to play the game there. But um, Storm FC also came. They wrote to the FA that they wanted to play the match in Kumasi, uh, which reasons... Babaya. Babaya. And their reasons were that they wanted to beat Kotoko. Uh, their background, I mean, which their home, their home ground, which I don't think that it, uh, I mean, that is enough to convince us to take the match there. So we decided to play the match in, in Nkoko. There was the argument that they, they wanted a windfall, they wanted to make enough money. Um, actually, 
it wasn't that alone. They think that, you know, uh, they wanted to beat Kotoko at their see. own backyard, you know, and also they thought that that pitch was better than Nkoko, sure. you know, and they wanted to teach Kotoko a lesson there. And I don't think that we would support that, okay? And uh, this is the FA Cup match and it has to be played at the venue we have, you know, chosen for them. Okay, so let's go through the fixtures now and the vice chairman is going to talk about certain pertinent issues. Don't forget that it's the round of 16 of the MTNFA Cup. There we are. Storm Academy in prior. So um, it's just behind you. Yes, versus Asante Kotoko. That's a big one. While All Stars versus Mighty Royals. And RTU, uh, it's been a while since we heard from them versus yes, BHM yes. United. Yes. Yes. Now, these two games, I'm sure it's in progress now. Uh, Asqua Deportivo and then Wild Rockets. And then um, Wild Stars Mighty Royals will be played on Sunday. Storm Academy, Storm Academy, and then um, Kotoko. That is tomorrow. Yeah. At the <laughs> Nkoko Park. Yeah. Uh, this is a game that I think that will be full of surprises. Mm. Looking at the team, I've seen them play before, and they are a compact team. Elmina Sharks True Democracy. Um, this is the team that I also tip that they can bring surprises. I've uh, Sharks being Park with Indom's team. Yes, and then True Democracy. This is a team that travels with eight fans. I see. Yes, they, they went to a Sipon with, I think, four buses and about 12 saloon cars mm. from Tema. <laughs> and um, Wafa and Elmin, uh, Emmanuel FC are playing this afternoon yeah. at uh, Sugakope. Summertex. Summertex Liberty is another game which, you know, would 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 provide a lot of action and then shocks and all that matters in and the then situation. the almighty the controversial hazakes game is okay. also coming on okay so these are the fixtures i mean quite some good ones there's some being played this afternoon mm -hmm. and you can follow uh, them on our social media platforms and also get the full match reports and uh, for those that we can't give full match reports definitely we'll give you summaries of what happened there thank you very much for your time to explain everything to us mr thank Kofi you Koku, the vice thank chairman of the mtn FA Cup Thank Committee. You. So then, that's it for the moment for the sports. I'm Gary Al Smith. I'll be back.